live a minor yeah, child. Baby's that young, and I cannot imagine. <sighs> she obviously has no regard for human life. I just, I felt that baby's pain. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I can't even, it just makes me sick to think about it. And now they're trying to come back and like him and her, but her boyfriend did. Okay, bitch, your boyfriend did. You let him do it, like you kill it back to me. Yeah, right. right. Sorry. Uh, my game girl, bitch. What? Why do you just kill him? Oh my god. It shook me to my core, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I have kids. It aggravates you to death. You're just gonna get your either your ass whooped or you're gonna get checked out of the pot. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. People frown upon that, regardless, you know, neglect, especially to a baby. Oh, she's got to go. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. Absolutely. They had all kinds of thoughts of what about what they're gonna do to her and what other people do to people who hurt children. She needs to be in segregation. She needs to be by herself because that's not something to around with. I am furious. We're not gonna have that in here. All this talking behind people's back and all this, I don't do all this. So I said, look, why don't you guys just let me go down and have a talk with her and let me just see what's going on. All of a sudden, she's like sitting down with this girl who's got child abuse charges and yeah, that pissed me off. Absolutely. I've never seen Ashley like this. She's really wound up right now. She's she's upset. I'm actually really concerned for her right now. She told me that she did not do anything to harm her baby and that she didn't believe that her husband did it. She kept saying she was, you know, a Christian. They were born and raised in the church. They don't do drugs. That God would judge her heart and that she didn't want to talk to anybody in the pod because her attorney had told her and advised her not to. She said that um, her husband was trying to give her baby CPR. Who knows what she said is true. That's not what the paperwork said. I don't even know. I can't talk about the details. It just. I think for her own safety, she just needs to go ahead and check out. I was sadly disappointed in Ashley's behavior because it's not our job to bring real trouble to the pod. And to me, that was bringing real trouble to the pod. She needs to stressed out like I feel like I could seriously seriously hurt someone right now I'm kind of shocked that Ashley is the ringleader in this you're not the judge once the jury has convicted her well then you got something to say
but I felt like I had no choice but to tell Damaris that she's got to leave the pod immediately because it looked like they were going to physically harm her. <laughs> Super weird. I must have misheard that. Like, I don't understand. Like, and ain't nobody else gonna say not one thing, or I'm gonna flip the out. They come in and apologize to her. Is this really happening? What do y'all want? Super weird. It changed so fast. I mean, everything was completely different, and now everyone's like, Helping this girl is like over the top. One minute you want someone dead, and the next minute you're giving them fatty cakes. Somebody said something to her, y'all say something to me. I'm just putting that out there. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to me, riding in the quad. Somebody said something to that girl, y'all say something to me. It was this instant switch, and everybody was like, no, no, she doesn't have to go. And everybody started giving her clothes, and it was like, what just happened? This place is insane. 